Hey guys, I just wanted to alert you about a scam alert. So there's this guy out there, he's texting contractors and he's trying to hire them for work. So what he did with me is he said, hey, you know, my name's James Powell. I live in Idaho. I just bought a house in Maine. I want to epoxy coat the garage floor. Can you give me a price? So I was like, yeah, I mean, so far everything still sounds pretty good. One weird thing was he was texting from a phone number that wasn't his name. It was somebody else's name. So I give him the quote, he accepts the quote, he wants the work done, he's going to be moving here in about a month, he wants the work done before he gets here. So one of the weird things was the person whose number he's using contacted me that night and she leaves me a message on my phone and she says, Mike, this thing's a total scam, this guy's a scam artist, he's been scamming contractors all over the place, my phone's been blowing up. I called her back the next day. And I talked to her a little bit about it. And she was like, yeah, he hacked my Facebook. He's spoofing my phone number. She goes, I can see your text to him, but I can't see his text to you. So that obviously was a red flag right there. Another thing that set off a red flag was he was going to make the check out for 50% of what I quoted him, send me the check. But then he also said, well, I still owe the previous owner of this house I'm buying some money. So I'm going to add that money onto that. And I'm like, that's weird. That doesn't usually happen between contractors. So what I did that night was I contacted the, the real estate agent in the town that he said he bought the house from. So I called the guy up that night. He answered the phone. I talked to him and I was like, hey, have you ever heard of this guy named James Powell? He said he just bought this house. And the real estate agent said, no, nope, never heard of him. Sure enough, the house was for sale and it had just sold. But the real estate agent had never heard of this guy. That obviously set off a red flag right there. And then I knew something was wrong. Anyway, I kept playing this through. And now, so he sent me the check. He said he was going to FedEx me the check, have an accountant mail the check out. And I got the check right here. I haven't opened it yet. So let's open it and see what it looks like. See how much more. My quote was $4,900. So he was going to send me half of that to do the epoxy coating plus whatever he owed the other person. So what I'm assuming is he wants me to deposit this check in my account and then send him back that money. Or he's got another person here in my local area that he wants me to give that extra money to after I take it out of my account. And then the check's bogus. So then I'm going to, I'm going to lose out on that money. But let's just open that up real quick and just see how much more that check is for. So it should be for half of the 4,900, right? 5,700. So it should be for around 2,450. It's, it's for like an extra 3,000 or so dollars. Now it looks like a real check. JP Morgan, Chase Bank, Easy Shield, you know, Lee and Associates commercial, Pasadena, California. I've never heard of that, but all right. So I just called, I just called the people on the check. Sure enough, that's a legitimate company, and what they told me, the accounts payable told me was, yes, their bank account has been compromised, they, they canceled that account, she's like, the, check, the check's no good, you know, definitely don't go try to cash it. So Anyway, I can call the bank, sure enough, it's a bogus check. But what I did was I called the police chief in the area, and the police chief said, yeah, it's a total scam, he's going to have you deposit the money, he's going to have you take out the extra above and beyond and either mail them the check back money back for that or give it to the person in your area who's who's in cahoots with this guy and then you're going to be totally out that money right now what i'm going to do is i agreed with the police chief to take the check and just give it to him and then he can handle it for there but anyway scam alert if there's somebody trying to contact you to do some work contractors make sure you check them out um, whatever you do, don't take the money and deposit it into your account. If you're not sure, call the bank first to see if the check is actually real and definitely don't take that money and then send it back to them. Then you'll be out that money. So scam alert, scam alert. Just wanted to let you guys know. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen anything similar or close to this.